everyone welcome back again to my channel before watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe now let's start this video the equation of justice for fishermen the urgency to protect fishermen and marine resources in indonesia part 4 mch that were captured by this officer also did not have valid documents from the government of indonesia for fishing in the fisheries management area of the republic of indonesia or w double p r i second fraud in ship character including fraudland use of the proper character time where in the ship user carterer manipulates the carter time intentionally and fraudulently so that the ship owner still has to fulfill delivery obligations while the carterer has not performed in, ob in its obligations. Third, fraud related to ship or cargo insurance, including the intentional action of burning or sinking the ship. Fourth, other frauds, including fraud related to activities at the port. Fifth, Natuna Sea area is very rich in biological wealth in the form of fish with various types. The oil content is quite promising and also the tracer of shipwreck, but the monitoring system is still very weak. To oversee the island and archipelago in Indonesia, quite a lot of funds are needed. These funds include, among other things, use for petrol costs, fuel costs, and from petrol vehicle and other costs. However, during the last period, there was a reduction in cost for the budgets referred to above. Furthermore, Executive Director of the Maritime Study Center for Humanity, Abdul Halim, gave a response to the rearrangement of the practice of fish theft by foreign fishing vessels, or KIA, in the North Natuna Sea. Halim said one of the things that was considered to be very significant in influencing the protection of the North Natuna Sea region was because the Ministry of, Man of Maritime Affairs and Fisheries or KKP in the 28 and 2019 fiscal years and reduced the budget for supervision of marine and fisheries resources or PSDKP and the, di and the direct General PSDKP. He stated the decrease in budget allocation had an impact on the decreasing number of monitoring days at sea from 145 days to 84 days in a year. So by that, there are some ways to promoting the protection for Indonesian fishermen. There are first postponing the decline in the surveillance budget at sea by CTF. By postponing the decline of surveillance budget will also affect decreasing the number of days of supervision crop dramatically from 60 days in 2015 sorry from 60 days in 2017 to 48 days in 2019 only. The budget reduction for PSDKP is considered to be one of the main sorts of weak oversight in Indonesia's sea areas, especially those directly adjacent to neighboring countries such as North Sulawesi, North Maluku, Riau Island, and others. Second, swing all the parties that are involved in illegal fishing. This is in line with the statement by the expert of sea law expert at the Faculty of Engineering, Gajah Mada University Yogyakarta, Imade Andi Arsana, he stayed because legal action was limited to the captain of the ship, it was not enough to make a deterrent effect for the ship owner's company. In addition, law enforcement against illegal fishing must touch on fishing theft practices that in addition, law enforcement against illegal fishing must touch on fishing theft practices at the border such as double flagging shutting down the VMS or vessels monitoring system and transshipment or transfer of ships in the middle of the sea. He explained that the operation modus of stealing fish using small MCH or MCH effect using the provision of law number 7 
2016. Number 7, 2016. Concerning the protection and empowerment of fisheries, fish farmers and salt farmers, smaller vessels using 10 GT are categorized as small fishing vessels. With this status, the size of the ship owner then receives various facilities from the KKP, from the KKP. The CTF also freed up permission to conduct fishing, thus at the time of taking action illegal fishing conducted by small fishing vessels is released or not act on. In fact, the small MCH were access for larger MCH waiting in the middle of the sea. Third, blocking the fisher from Vietnam, China, who deliberately involved their country's coast guard to secure the fishing vessels of the two countries while sailing the while sailing in the exclusive economic zone area of Indonesia. This condition has taken place in recent weeks and has provoked Indonesia to maintain all its sovereignty in the territorial waters. The Natuna Island region of Riau has long been a busy area transferred by fishing vessels from around the world. The situation has not changed despite political tension in recent years in the region and involving East Asian countries with Southeast Asia. Within this year, one of the Southeast Asia countries, Vietnam, even more aggressively catch fish in waters that fall into the exclusive economic zone, into the exclusive international economic zone. Not surprisingly, during 2019, the Ministry of Maritime Affairs and Fisheries claimed to have found 13 patrol vessels in the country that were on guard or were always in those waters. For Indonesia Destructive Fishing Watch or DFW, or DFW National Coordinating Mohamed Abdi Suhufan, the vigilance of the 13 Vietnamese patrol boats, its aim to keeping fishing activities carried out by, the, by their fishermen to continue to run well. The ship's contains of fishing patrol boats and coast guard vessels and focus on safeguards in the border areas between countries. That was done by that was done by Vietnam because it was not yet that was done that was done by Vietnam because it was not yet clear of the exclusive economic zone boundaries of the two countries, Indonesia and Vietnam, so that it became a gap and justification Vietnam to expand fishing territory in the North Natuna Sea. The conclusion that we can avoid from the text above is first bringing the strength of the marine fleet to support security in the Natuna Sea and other waters. Second, establish clear arrangement. Second, establish clear agreements or treaties regarding the boundaries of territorial waters with neighboring countries. As explained above, one of the problems in the Natuna Sea is that there are unclear sea boundaries issues. Unclear boundaries will create obstacle for the interests of the state, in this case the coastal state, and the people protect by claims of authority over the sea, which includes the sea, coast, coast and all their wealth. With the establishment of bilateral agreements between countries that border directly on their territorial waters, action will be minimized in violation or crime against other countries' territories. Third, extending the authority of the fisheries court so that it does not only cover criminal acts in the fisheries sectors as regulated in the fisheries law. When a non-fishery crime is found, fisheries court do not have the authority to handle non-fishery cases and require that these non-fishery cases be handled by the general court. To deal with this, it is necessary to expand the jurisdiction of the fisheries courts to also handle core crimes that occur and are found along with fisheries crimes. Okay everyone, that's all this article today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until the next one.
बाय